Did you ever wonder why things go really well for us when we don't really need it? And when really, really need something, it somehow seems we could never have it. As a matter of fact, if you really want something, you will never have it. That's the paradox of the universe. But it also makes perfect sense. Because if you want something, your statement is, I don't have it right now. Hence the wish. But at the end of this video, you will know how to quit this victim mentality and enter a state of creation where miracles happen. When you feel really strong about something that happened to you, your brain takes a big mental picture of it. This happens especially when you feel super emotional. Those moments stick around in your memory for a long time, making what we call long-term memories. So here's how it works. Your brain kind of gets wired to think about that experience a lot. It's like your thoughts keep going back to it because your emotions tell your brain, hey, this is important. So you end up thinking about it again and again. And guess what? Your body gets in on it too. When you have a strong emotional reaction, your body feels it too. It's like your emotions are talking to your body saying, feel this way. So you might feel sad, happy, or angry based on what happened. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Some people think they can't control how they feel, but that's not entirely true. If you let yourself stay upset about something for a really long time, it affects your mood. You might find yourself saying, I'm in a bad mood, and it's because you're stuck in that emotional reaction from something that happened days, weeks, or even months ago. If you keep feeling the same way for a really long time, it starts to become a part of who you are. People might say, why is he always grumpy? And it's because he's been holding on to that feeling for ages. But here's the thing, you can actually change how long you stay upset about something. It's like training your brain to let go of those emotions faster. Instead of dwelling on the past, you can focus on what's happening now. When something bad happens, your body and brain go into survival mode. They're basically saying, pay attention, this might happen again. But if you spend too much time worrying about bad stuff, you start to expect the worst all the time. It's like your brain gets stuck on repeat, thinking about all the bad things that could happen. And here's the kicker. When you keep thinking about something that made you upset, your body reacts like it's happening all over again. Your brain sends out the same signals, and your body feels the same emotions, even if it's just from thinking about it. So, if you want to change how you feel, you've got to change how you think. Instead of replaying the same old memories, focus on the good stuff happening right now. That way, you can break free from those old emotional patterns and live a happier, more positive life. Your body and brain are stuck on repeat, like a broken record playing the same song over and over again. It's like your body thinks it's still living in the past, reliving the same old experiences every single day. So. When those old feelings pop up, they trigger the same thoughts. And those thoughts bring back the same feelings. It's like a cycle that keeps you trapped in the past. Changing this cycle isn't easy. It means making different choices than you did before. And let me tell you, it's going to feel weird at first. You might feel uncomfortable, unsure, or even a bit scared. That's because your brain has gotten used to the old way of doing things. You see, your brain is wired to connect certain thoughts and feelings together. So when you have a thought, it triggers an emotion. And when you feel that emotion, your brain tells your body to feel it too. This cycle repeats over and over again, making it hard to break free. But here's the thing. When you do decide to make a change, your body might resist. It's like your body is saying, wait, this isn't how we usually do things. Your body tries to pull you back into your old habits, telling you it's safer to stick to what you know. It might whisper things like, you'll never change, or this isn't right for you. And if you listen to those whispers, you'll end up making the same choices, feeling the same emotions and getting stuck in the same rut. But here's the good news. 
you have the power to break free from this cycle. It starts with recognizing those old patterns and choosing to do things differently. It might feel strange at first, but with time and practice, you can create new habits and change your life for the better. Now, when I say your body becomes your unconscious mind, I mean that your body is like a record of all your past experiences and emotions. It remembers how you felt and what you did in certain situations, even if you're not consciously aware of it. So, when you try to change, your body might resist because it's used to the familiar. It's like your body wants to protect you by keeping you in your comfort zone. But if you can push past that resistance and embrace change, you'll open yourself up to a world of new possibilities. Think of your body like a super smart computer that doesn't know the difference between what's happening in the real world and what you're imagining or feeling. It's like your body takes your emotions and thoughts as if they're real events. So, when you keep feeling the same emotions over and over again, you're basically telling your body that those feelings are important. And when it's time to let go of those feelings, it's not as easy as just saying, I want to stop feeling this way. You see, your body is pretty stubborn. It's used to following the same old patterns and it doesn't like change. So, even when you try to break free from those old emotions, your body might resist because it's more comfortable sticking to what it knows. Stepping into the unknown can be scary because, well, it's unknown. And a lot of people prefer to stick with familiar feelings like guilt or suffering because at least they know what to expect. But here's the thing. You can't wait for your circumstances to change before you start feeling better. You have to start feeling empowered, abundant, and loved right now, even before you see those changes in your life. When you imagine yourself feeling the way you want to feel, your brain starts to believe it's already happening. It's like you're programming your brain for success and happiness. And here's the cool part. When you keep practicing this, it's like you're rewiring your brain to create the future you want. Your brain stops being stuck in the past and becomes a roadmap to your dreams. But here's the tricky part. You have to teach your body what the future feels like before it actually happens. You can't wait for success or love to come knocking on your door before you start feeling worthy or whole. In the old way of thinking, people believed they had to wait for things to change outside of them before they could feel better inside. But in the new way of thinking, you realize that your thoughts and feelings can actually change your reality. So, instead of being a victim of your circumstances, you become the creator of your world. You start believing that your thoughts and feelings have the power to shape your life. And that's when everything starts to change for the better. So, you're here, but your dream? It feels like it's way off in the distance. Why is it so far away? Well, your brain is busy calculating all the time and effort it's going to take to get there. You see, closing the gap between what you think and what you experience is like getting closer to something divine, something really special. And when you start moving in that direction, suddenly, the things you thought you wanted don't seem as important anymore. We practice this in meditation, in our daily routines, even when we're walking around. You've got to embody the energy of your future like you're already living it. And when you do this consistently, people start noticing a change in you. They'll say, hey, something's different about you. That's because you're not just showing up the same old way anymore. You're becoming who you truly are, and that's pretty powerful stuff. My goal is to shake things up, to nudge people off their old path and onto a new one. And you wouldn't believe the incredible things that can happen when people fully commit to this journey. I'm talking about miracles, big ones. So when you listen to someone's story of transformation, let it sink in. Don't just dip your toes in the water, dive in head first. That's what I want for everyone, to fully embrace this journey and experience the magic for themselves. I'm here to provide the tools and the environment for that magic to happen. Because deep down, people know there's more to reality than just their everyday life. They feel it in their bones, even if they can't quite put it into words. 
When I first started on this journey, people were curious about how thoughts create reality. It was all very philosophical back then. But now, it's not enough just to know. People want to know how to make it happen. And that's where I come in, sharing the science behind it all and empowering others to create their own reality. Now, I've come to understand something pretty important. If I can explain it in a way that leaves no room for doubt, no room for superstition or old beliefs, then people really get it. They know exactly what they need to do and why they're doing it. And once you know the what and the why, the how, becomes much easier. I had a real light bulb moment when I realized that helping someone move past their emotions is key. It's like guiding them across a river of change. You've got to focus on overcoming those emotions and leaving the past behind. That's where the real work lies. When we started studying people's brains, we saw some amazing changes. It wasn't just happening in their minds, it was happening in their brains too. We could actually measure the differences before and after they made these changes. Here's the thing. When we're stressed out and constantly on edge, our brains go haywire. It's like a lightning storm up there with different parts of the brain out of sync. And when your brain is out of whack, so are you. You're not sending out clear signals. It's like your Wi-Fi is down. When you're stressed, it creates even more separation. You're revving up your engine while slamming on the brakes at the same time. Your heart starts beating erratically and your energy just goes haywire. But here's the good news. We can change all that. We can get our hearts and brains working together in harmony. When your heart is in sync, it sends powerful waves of energy to your brain, putting it in a creative state. So really, your heart is the true creative center. And when we tap into that, amazing things can happen. Here's a fascinating discovery. When your heart is in sync, it creates a magnetic field that extends up to three meters wide. This means you're more like a wave and less like a particle, more energy and less matter. Essentially, you're emitting a coherent signal and that signal is made of frequency, which carries information. Now, when your energy activates your heart and you express gratitude for something before it even happens, your body believes it's already occurred. Think about it. When something good happens to you, you naturally say, thank you. That feeling of gratitude means it's already happened, making you the ultimate receiver. Teaching someone to express gratitude before things happen opens their heart. This energy, like a ripple in water, creates a field that can carry intentions like health, wealth, relationships, or peace. But some might say, I can't open my heart. Yet, they're already experts at feeling certain emotions. They just haven't practiced feeling gratitude. So, when we teach this approach, people must confront their doubts, impatience, and old habits. As they clear away these obstacles and cross the river of change, their hearts open more, their brains become coherent, and they achieve a balance that connects them to their inner wisdom. When your heart and brain are in sync, you feel connected to something greater, no longer separate. And the goal? To become so skilled at this that nothing can shake your inner peace. Then, whatever you put out into the world becomes your experiment with destiny. It's not just about what you receive. It's about realizing that you have the power to create your reality. And you know what's interesting? Many people who find success through this process often end up giving back. They no longer chase material possessions because they understand their ability to create abundance. It's not about the car you drive. It's about being content with what you have and sharing your abundance with others. So picture this. You're at a point in your life where you're so content with yourself that you couldn't care less about what others think. You're just happy being you, no matter how you look or what people say. That, my friend, is true freedom. It fills me with joy to see people undergo such a transformation. Now here's the golden rule. Focus on understanding the formula for change, not just on fixing your problems. 
Once you've got the formula down pat, healing becomes a natural side effect of your personal growth journey. It's like learning the recipe for success. After a decade of digging deep into this formula and analyzing tons of data, we've caught the attention of universities worldwide. What started as a few isolated incidents has turned into a proven law of transformation. People from all walks of life, regardless of age or background, are experiencing miracles. You see, there are two ways to live, in survival mode or as a creator. Living as a creator is like a graceful dance where you let go of everything you think you know and dive into the present moment. In this moment, time loses its grip and you enter a realm of infinite possibilities. Think about it. In the world we're used to, where space and time stretch endlessly, achieving our dreams feels like a distant journey. We're constantly racing against the clock, exhausted by the effort it takes to reach our goals. But when you step into the quantum realm, time becomes fluid, stretching infinitely in all directions. It's like having all the time in the world to explore endless possibilities. Past, present, and future blend into one, and every moment is ripe with potential. In this realm, there's no such thing as past lives or future lives. They all exist simultaneously. As we journey through time, we unlock hidden dimensions and tap into the infinite potential of our minds. And once you've experienced this shift, you can never go back to seeing the world the same way again.